Hey guys, another video for the Castles and Old Buildings playlist. Up in the mountains of Gifu, we found this castle. So we're down the bottom of the hill here. There's a little bit of a park with a statue and the beginning of the main path that leads up to the castle. So there's going to be another video that's going to show you our first attempt at going up this hill was actually by car, but it turned out that the ice on the road was too severe for a pair of snow tyres, so we ended up going by foot, which was actually quite a climb on an icy, icy track. Every time that track leaves the sunlight and goes into the shade, there was ice all over the place. So that's the first defensive wall that would have actually had some sort of little tower on top of it, a little guard tower on top that's not there anymore. About 400 years old, this castle. The actual castle itself is, is a reconstruction now, as is often the case with these old ones, but it's an authentic reconstruction, so they've done a good job of it. Isn't that a beautiful thing up there? Now, there's a guard tower in the corner. That's what would have been on that first defensive wall, but it isn't there anymore, of course. And just have a look on this wall here, you can see circles, rectangles, and triangles. And they're actually little ports, little holes that the guys on the inside could use to fire arrows at the guys on the outside if they wanted to. So whenever we climb up to one of these, I'm always very aware of what it would have been like to attack one of these places. And look here, this is actually the final entrance, the door entrance into the actual castle grounds. And you can see both sides of you here and in front of you, you've got people firing arrows. So it would have been really difficult. It's quite common actually, Japanese castles, quite common to find Japanese castles that were never attacked because the opposition looked at them and decided it was too hard. We were, we were puffing and panting walking up that hill and we weren't wearing armor and weren't carrying weapons. So if you look at it from that point of view, and even if you did manage to get through this gate in one piece, you've then got the actual castle keep itself where you've got people still shooting at you. So it was quite often the case, the most famous castle in Japan, Himeji Castle, was never attacked because the opposition took one look at it and realised that it was just impossible. That, you know, 20 guys on the inside could hold off 2,000 people on the outside. So it just isn't worth attacking. So pretty good job of this reconstruction, but they did a couple of things to make it easier for us. One is these steps are actually wider and less steep than a real castle steps. If you watch our other video, there's a video we made about the oldest authentic or original Japanese castle and the steps in there are really steep and really uh, narrow. The actual the tread itself is very, is very narrow. And the idea was, of course, it makes it hard for a soldier to run up them and attack. And it means that one person at the top of the stairs can hold off a whole heap of people trying to get up the stairs because they just can't do it because it's too steep. So in this reconstruction, they made it a little bit more friendly for us because usually they are very hard to climb. So they made it a little bit softer for us this time. So obviously samurai armor there. Very cool. How's the built-in moustache there on the helmet? Isn't that cool? <laughs> very masculine, isn't it? quite common that too that's quite a common thing so wearing that and climbing up that mountain you know carrying your swords and your spears and everything else would be quite an effort a few different weapons there see the weapon with the hook with the chain and the ball on it there's actually some martial arts schools that still practice with that very nasty weapon use the chain to in entangle the other person's weapons or to pull them in and then use that knife thing to cut their throat Quite a nasty weapon. So here's a model of what it would have looked like originally with the village at the bottom with Joe Public living in the village. And then a little bit further up you've got another complex there where sort of noble people would have lived. And at the very top of the hill where the local lord and his family would have lived. Very classic design, very typical. And the idea is of course if the bad guys do come or the opposition do come, people from the village can move up the hill into the, the castle grounds for, for safety. So this is, I always wanted to do this. This is a 360 degree view from the castle. 
So we're going to go four sections here and show you the whole 360 degrees and you'll see that there's no land higher, no land nearby that is higher. So it's impossible to shoot down on this castle of course, that's why they always put them at the peak of the hill. And that's why if you want to visit any Japanese castles you better be in good condition because it always involves climbing a big hill. <laughs> always involves climbing a steep hill. And if you find yourself doing that, just imagine what it would be like in the in the armor and carrying the weapons, you know, it would have been really tough. You want me to do what? <laughs> and get faced with this wall at the end of the climb when you're standing standing there puffing and panting, so anyway, I hope you found that interesting. More videos coming soon.